Hi, it's me, Logan. You may have noticed over the past few months, especially like the last few weeks, that like my social media list has been getting smaller and smaller and smaller on my website and on my YouTube channel about and on my description of my videos. Yeah, well, just kind of wanted to explain why social media is exhausting. Okay, like, it can be good to get your work out there and, like, noticed and good to make friends with people, but it's pretty fucking toxic, you know. So, uh, might as well go through the list and sort of talk about why I deleted each individual thing and why I've kept some. The Tumblr. My Tumblr account was like my main social media for a while. It seemed at first a little less toxic than Twitter, but eventually I started to figure out why Tumblr had the reputation it did. The fucking Tumblr humor. It's funny at first, but it all kind of has the same sort of feeling to it. Like that fucking weird Twitter vibe. And like weird Twitter, you can only really pull it off if you drill. And also, after Ukraine happened, you know, the website was for, like, the crappiest takes possible. Oh, and also, I'd followed a shitload of people, and people on Tumblr seemed to like posting a lot, and it was getting kind of hard to check all of them. Especially because I, I kept all of all the channels by, like, having, like, an RSS feed uh, aggregator, so I got rid of that. And I also got rid of my fucking Newgrounds account. When I had aspirations of being like a big fancy animator and like animation being like my main specialty as a creative outlet, I started a Newgrounds because all the animators have a Newgrounds, right? As it turns out, I didn't make that many animations that would qualify because like Newgrounds is pretty fucking gatekeepy. And most of the people I followed on there, like pretty much everyone had YouTube accounts anyway. So I, I could just watch their stuff on there. So I just got rid of it and I don't really go on there since. My daily motion was the next to go because I'd started my internet archive account and I'd started uploading my videos there because some of the video files were too big to put on my website for NeoCities to let me upload it. I just wanted a place where people could download all my stuff. Once that was there, there was like zero point of my daily motion anymore because the reason why I had it in the first place was as a backup for my YouTube videos in case any of them ever got taken down. So deleted, especially because it made me disable YouTube block origin to use it and like fuck you man the twitch was next because i kind of stopped watching a lot of streamers i kind of just stopped watching twitch and i didn't really stream that often myself anymore so eventually i like bit the bullet and just got rid of it the very few streams i watch live i tend to watch them on youtube and like most of the time i just kind of watch highlight videos on the youtubes you know because i've got better things to do with my life than watch streamers all day uh, i've also gone to the effort of figuring out the arduous task of streaming on youtube so that i can stream in the future if i want to and i have done once it was a very disorganized Roe vs Wade stream. I think I could have done it a little better. I got sidetracked a lot. I'd made the SoundCloud shortly after deleting my daily motion. To be honest, you know, there's like an upload limit. I didn't want to have to pay like SoundCloud premium if I reached the limit. And also, barely anyone was listening to it on there. Most people were listening on YouTube. My Discord server was also gone. I deleted it because like, the only other person on there was my brother. And it was just like, eh, there's nothing's happening here. What's the point? However, if enough interest is expressed, I will like make a new one in the future, maybe. Like that's a possibility. But I think like for now, my channel's like too small for one to really be like worth it, you know? And plus at the time I was kind of like calling my Discord servers anyways, leaving ones that I wasn't really bothered with anymore. So it was like, yeah, might as well get rid. <laughs> 
and my second YouTube channel, you know, I'm trying to like streamline things a bit and after the Twitch channel got deleted, I'd be live streaming on like my main channel. So it's just, what's the point in keeping a second channel for like a few streams from back when I had a Twitch account? Like, I, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think I really did good enough for the job and barely anyone was subscribed to it anyways. And I'd considered deleting it in the past before, like I very nearly did. And then I like backed out at the last minute. <laughs> My Instagram, where most of my following was. Well, hence why with this one, I waited a couple of days before it got deleted in case anyone wanted to go and subscribe to my other stuff instead. Uh, I kind of had gotten bored of Instagram. I wasn't really like in enjoying it anymore. It was kind of boring. Uploading videos there was a bit of a bull lake. A lot of my followers were like fucking spam bots. <laughs> At the same time, I deleted my Instagram, I decided to get rid of my Facebook page as well. The video uploading was even more of a nightmare. Nobody really goes on Facebook pages that much really, like, you know, you just follow the Twitter, don't you? My Patreon page, which we know one had, like, become a patron. Also, like, I'm in, like, kind of a creative group with, like, two other people. And we're kind of, like, in the midst of getting, like, a group Patreon set up. So, a Patreon link will eventually reappear in the channel descriptions. It just won't be, like, a solo one anymore. It'll be for, like, a group. It kind of makes sense that way we can, like, pull the money and like it will be going in one place and we can like use it for big projects you know kind of down to the essentials really twitter internet archive website who who fucking cares i'm just kind of ready to kind of start a bit of a new chapter in life you know put a little more focus into getting videos made and working on stuff that i want to do rather than like procrastinating on the social medias all day I'm gonna try and get even more like exercise because i go for a walk every day but like you know that's pretty much the only exercise i sort of do you know just kind of get things ordered up in my life a little bit and to be honest, I think it's time for me to change my username. From the get-go, it's been pretty clear that I'm not too bothered about people knowing my name. You know, I'm Logan Shepard Scully. But to be honest, I, I think it kind of sucks as a YouTube username, you know. And it's a bit long-winded. Yeah, I just don't kind of feel like it represents the channel. So, after this video... I will be changing my username to Legomaniac856. Laugh all you want, but it was like what I my I named my email account when I was like 11. It was going to be Legomaniac, but that was already taken, so Google suggested adding 856 on the end. I kind of like it. Like, I, I don't really use Lego anymore, but I've kind of grown a bit of sentimental value with that like email name. It, I kind of like how it's got that old school YouTube value as well. What kind of spurred this on was like, I was thinking the other day about what would have happened if Google used your email name rather than your actual name as like the default for your YouTube account. I was thinking, would I have like done my entire YouTube career under the name of Lego Maniac 856? What a weird thing that would have been. And I was thinking about it and I don't know, it kind of sounded better. It has a bit of a better ring to it than Logan Shepard Scally. So I'm changing it. So yeah, I'm gonna just sort of get things in order a bit more new chapter new sort of stuff new new presentation i'm gonna try and wear the makeup a little bit more it's been good this past year being in the youtubes and i appreciate everyone that has been like subscribed and enjoying my work i really appreciate the support i mean i'm only at like 35 subscribers at the time of recording but still it's it's kind of fun when you put out that work and people say oh this is this is good you've done a pretty good job here i like it thank you very much for this and i hope you have a wonderful day today see, see you later i guess bye <laughs>